Okay. Now we into the young slash middle adulthood experience. You know, this this should be a very interesting topic. This gets to show my grandma how she was when she was my age. Uh, in my early twenties. Yeah, your early twenties and I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, um this I've I've never ever ever asked you about this question, so this should be more informational for me, if anything, than Ashley. No. Um how was your dating experience as far as you dating people? Uh see that'd be kinda hard to answer. Because during my time, you had to sneak and date. I'm serious. You, I was, what, 17, 16 on up. My experience in life, I had to sneak and date. So it was nothing that you could ever show that you were really proud of. I couldn't. Like it was... Like it was in secret until I got pregnant at 19. And I had my first child, but I can't remember because I, I do remember once, now twice, uh, guys coming to the house to ask, could they? You know, but my mom and my stepfather treated them so scared them boys. Them boys didn't come back. They didn't come back. So then it got to a place where it was a, like a sneaky thing. You put yourself in the position to meet this person or be where they went. And that's, that's how it all came about. So basically, was it, you know, was it really, during that time, was it really just allowed for you really just to date people? Or was it just something that you just chose to do? I think it's a mix of both. Because like I said, by me being the oldest and my mother and my stepfather was on the weekend was always trying to do their thing from all the week. that they would always expect me to babysit and make sure the other kids were doing what they wanted to. And so I guess, it wasn't that I guess I got to an age I wasn't allowed, they didn't give me the time. I didn't have the time, really. Okay. Um. To enjoy being courted and, and that young man come to the house. In my life experience, it was like a thing on your, I only see that on television. It never happened for me, you know. Then I got married, so that, there was no use to even think about no court no more. So. And that's the next question. What? The next question is about marriage. Oh, you don't want to know that from my point of view well, because I got married because I got pregnant. Well, you and know, then I got married to get away from home. See, and that's you know that's that's all about that's all about the experience. You know, that's that's something that you went through in your lifetime. You said well, because I, you know, as far as how well, I, I don't know what uh, you know other people expect, but like coming from me. That was it. See, I got married to get away from home. And then you got married because you got pregnant. Because you were pregnant. Right. But see, and that's the thing. Like, it's really not... I, From my my perspective of this whole list of questions that I'm supposed to ask you, it's basically telling your story. You know, not... Yeah. It's not Billy Bob Joe Sue right. story. It's but, not no storybook. My life has not been no storybook. See, and that's the thing. Like, you know, growing up, life isn't supposed to be a storybook. You know, people have... People say it's supposed to be yeah. a storybook. But, yeah, but from my experience, 
it's to your experience, to mom experience, to dad yeah. experience, every every as, every aspect of it, it never been a storybook. It's never been a storybook experience. No, you know because daddy have his but own story. People, but uh, the majority of the world and people try to portray it as a storybook. Something you would see on television, something that people wished and hoped for, but a lot of people never seen it. Yeah. So you, you know, and that and that's why with your whole marriage situation, it was right. It was you know you had to. It was like at, during that time, you know, you got pregnant, you had to marry. Right. It was kind of like you basically had to marry this yeah. person because it wasn't it wasn't godly. Yeah, it wasn't right. Right, as perceived it, to other right. people around you. Right, right. And then you know, you growing up, being the oldest, having to deal with all of these kids. You know, all, all, your, all your brothers and sisters. Yeah, people want to get away. Yeah, people want people don't want to be in, stuck in that same situation their oh, whole life. life. Yeah, that's true. So I, you know, I understand. You know, and that's and that's the importance of why you know your whole marriage situation during that time is so important. You know, or give or give that type of you know point of view. Right. Yes. And I'm. You know, I like that. You know, this people need to hear that type of stuff because you know you always care about you know it happened this way, this way, that way, but right. they don't get to see this totally different side to where it wasn't really just all praised upon, right? And it wasn't glorified, right? It's, yeah. It just it's something different. It's something different. It makes people it, think. It's because it's the truth. That's the way <coughs> minds were. You know, and like you say, you know, you got you got pregnant and you wasn't married. So then to try to correct it, the mistake that you made, you got married to the baby's father. Uh, to the baby's father. But did you get right married for the right reasons? The reason wasn't right. Mine was to escape what I was already in. And I think that's mean I have a hard time about it. And I look at my kids with their relationship and what's going on. Y'all just they just don't understand what I've been through, what I came through. And when I had one of my first baby, ooh, I just, cause this was mine. I didn't took care of somebody else's kids as long as I can remember. Always, even my oldest sister kids, I had them for a couple of years. But now I'm at the age I, I got my own. This is mine. I'm going to take care of it. That's what I did. But does it mean anything? No. Nope. And but that's what I got. That's that's how I got away from home. And I I like how you're doing this, girl. You're making it so much easier for me because you just basically segue into the next question. The next question is talking about your four children: A Wanda, A Baby, Mama, and A Tanya. You know, just. You know, speak about your kids and how they were whenever you were in that stage of your life. Not how you are now, but when oh, while, but while when they, they were kids, were kids and they oh. were growing up. And I and it's my babies. Exactly. They, you know, everything I did, I did it for them to make things better for them. So they wouldn't have to experience a lot of things in life, ugly things in life that I had experience you know I didn't want them in to be in the position where nobody could approach them and show them something and they eyes would go like this yeah you know I never had that I, I, I would love to have that no mama always made sure that you had I never had designer jeans but they did I never been to the livestock show, 
the rodeo, whatever they call it. But they did many of times. And I've never been. Never. And I know, you know, they went to the circus also. Oh yeah! I now I did do that. I, I, oh boy! I know I went to the circus. We really had a good time. The, the ice capades. The ice, yeah, the ice yeah. capades. Oh, that was. I enjoyed that. We enjoyed that, and I enjoyed it with them. But because it was really on a kids level, but the adults, I got a chance to enjoy that myself. I really did. And they, we had fun. And I want to tie this in with like parenthood, you know, how, how did you raise them? You know, just really how were you, well, I already know the answer, but you know, just to broaden, you know, to broaden it from, to get from where I am, was it a strict household? Was it, you know, I'm gonna let you learn from your experience or was it just, uh, is it my way or the highway? It was like an hour, and I can't say that because I didn't want to leave either. Uh, oh, God. Because I can't say I was just really strict of, well, other than in, in words. In, in words, and I tried to teach them the main thing was to stick together. Y'all always stick together. One don't go nowhere where the other one don't go. You be honest. Tell, be, please tell the truth. Stick together, love and respect each other. Because the one, well, one that was supposed to, one that was the oldest and she was supposed to be over them if I wasn't there. But they beat her up and tell her about what she ain't gonna tell them about what to do. And I guess that means she still acts so childish now. Cause she never was, she never did hold her post like she was supposed to, like I did. You know, uh, my uh, oldest brother, he gone now, but and my uh, oldest two brothers, you know, we were the type of kids, we didn't wait on somebody to give us something. We always found a little job, or they was picking peaches, cucumbers, whatever season it was, we found us something to do to make us an honest dollar. And a lot of times they have to go by themselves and somebody mess with them, and if they come home telling me about somebody who had messed with them, I go see back. They would come and tell me. And that was weird. That was what they wanted them. This was with my sisters and brothers. With your sister and brother. With Jake Jr. and Walter Ray. And uh, Mary Marie. Marie. Yeah. They would come home and tell me. And I'd go see to it about it. But I tried to teach Wanda and Jackie. And Lisa. But Lisa... Uh, I know she's my third child, but you would think she was my last. <laughs> and Tanya is the third, and Lisa was the last. Because she was such a mama's baby. I could not leave that child. They have to tie her down. Just for, I, she know I went to work. She just couldn't get it through her head. She stayed out there and hollered in that street, Mama, Mama. And it'd be the same thing every day. <laughs> that was my baby though. That girl was, ooh, was spoiled. But they, that's one thing I give my girls credit for. They did stick together and they spoiled Lisa. They had her thinking she was the baby. When Tanya was the baby. But they treated Lisa like she was the baby. Though they was, they was good. I never had, only trouble I had out of them was when they would go to school. Hold on, Grandma. Hold it, though. What? 